Welcome to the Ogles channel. Thanks for watching today. Let's talk about some new information we have about the upcoming DLC for Elden Ring. Now in our last video, we talked about how the DLC is pretty much 100% confirmed because some data miners went through there, found in the code where it literally said DLC when it's talking about like different hairstyles, uh, some of the different maps and things like that. So we know the DLC is coming. Well, one of the main data miners, Sekiro Doobies, actually come out now and said there are flag locations for 30 bosses in the DLC. But that doesn't mean we're going to have 30 new bosses in the game. It just simply means there's 30 new flag locations for these bosses. They could use this across multiple DLCs or, you know, simply not put a boss in there at all for these flag locations. That happened in the original game. They said they're expecting probably 10 to 15 based upon their calculations, judging from the main game coming to the DLC. So they don't know for sure, but if they were going to guess, 10 to 15 bosses in the DLC. And that probably isn't going to include as far as like the, you know, the little cave bosses or the ones you find off to the side, you know, hidden off in the grass, stuff like this. It's just simply mainline story bosses. In addition to the boss data mining, they also came across 16 NPCs expected for the DLC. Now, obviously some of these could be cut as well. Are they going to be quest lines? Could be merchants? We don't know, but there are possible 16 new NPCs inside the DLC. Now, is it possible that From Software, you know, changes things and adds more in the next patch before the DLC? Well, of course, this just sort of gives us a baseline of what to expect. But it is pretty exciting to know that the DLC is obviously coming to fruition. They're getting some groundwork done as far as putting some NPCs in there, some new worlds in there, some new bosses in there. I mean, there's so much predicted about this DLC at this point. I would be surprised if it didn't come out first quarter next year, just because there's so much groundwork being laid out inside of all these uh, most recent patches for the game. But what do you all think? What sort of bosses are you hoping to see in the new game? What sort of new quest lines are you hoping for some new NPCs inside the game? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out my other videos listed up above. And as always, go out there, find a great game to play. Just simply have a great rest of the day.